in this section we are going to look at fundraising that happens on the blockchain and we will look at the initial coin offering in detail. Now fundraising is a concept that has been existing for a very very long time right so when you start want to start a, a company of your own a startup right you will first invest your own money whatever savings you have then you will go for someone called as friends and family you will tell them your idea if they like your idea they will invest in your company then you will go to an angel investor uh, get some let's say a small amount of money from them then you go to a accelerator then you will go to a vc like softbank tiger global etc then you will go to the public and ask for money right so in similar lines you need money for any business that you take and blockchain makes it very easy to raise funds for your company right we'll see how that process works and what is different between the concept of let's say ipos which exist in the traditional world versus icos which exist in the blockchain world okay now First, we'll look at IPO on the left hand side to understand how this IPO works. For those who do not know what is an IPO, IPO is initial public offering, right? Where a company uh, of a particular size, right, which has grown by a large extent and what's a lot of money, they cannot go to a single investor like an HNI or a VC also cannot fund that much money, right? Because it has grown exponentially let's uh, take the example of tesla or apple or all of these companies right when they want billions and billions of dollars they cannot ha take it from a single vc or a single uh, person so they have to go to the general public the citizens of the country and they will ask for money right so they will say see this is my company this is how i have grown this is my product and they raise money from the public right so that they can raise a lot of money and they have to be much more compliant because it's the citizens money and there's a lot of things involved in the IPO process right so that process we'll look at first then compare it with the initial coin offering that is done on the blockchain right so let's consider a company which is started by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak and a lot of people and they name it Apple okay Apple uh, which has been bitten and all of these things right so anyway so when they wanted to start this company what they will do as I told before they will invest their own money uh, in terms of initial capital right and they'll also create a prototype and all of this stuff right so to uh, show people that their idea is working they need to do some work and they have to invest some money also small amount of money to do that right for that they are getting shares of the company right so these three people who started apple will get probably 33 33 and 33 percentage each in the company so they own the company completely at this point in time right later they want more money to create it i mean they have to create millions of macbooks and millions of iphones and stuff right so for that they need to go to the general public right so i am skipping the uh, venture capital angel investor and all of that Listen, jumping straight into the ipo process where they go to the citizens of the us and say see i've created this prototype with my own initial investment and all now i want to create this in bulk because i know that my idea is working can you look at my idea and give me funding okay if can you invest in my company so that i can grow whenever i get profits i'll definitely give you the profits right so looking at this concept these people invest cash invest money into this company what do they get in return for investing into the company is shares of the company these people had let's say 33 33 etc right so they'll give 10 percent of that to the general public saying uh, one share is let's say a dollar right so that way they'll uh, if a person invests 10 dollars they'll give him 10 shares of apple right so that's how these people will get the shares now with the cash that they receive from these people what is happening uh, this company called as apple is creating ipads and macbooks and iPhones and all of this right and it's getting a huge hit inside the world and everyone is going crazy about these products they get a profit right now this profit <coughs> will be transferred to the investors in terms of dividends right so if they get about 100k as profits out of that let's say 10k will be uh, distributed to these people as dividends you know interest kind of stuff small amounts right the rest of the 90k will go into the 
improvement of the company or expansion of the company because they can you know reinvest that and convert it into more profits right so they'll be focusing on that and at the same time these shares which were let's say one dollar per share when they invested right will also grow in value yeah probably it might grow to five dollars six dollars ten dollars depending on the demand and supply we thought saw that in the exchanges concept right as these products are um, growing in popularity the the, the prof price of the shares also keeps increasing right so that's how these investors gain by investing in this company okay they invest cash uh, get shares get a share of the profits also they get capital gains right wonderful now we are going to compare this against the concept of icos where the initial step is the same the same people uh, invest their initial capital and some work in creating this company and they get the shares of the company right now they want money for expansion so they go to the general public and get cash now instead of giving shares of the company shares contain a lot of things okay voting ownership and a lot of stuff so to give a share to a person who is outside the US is kind of difficult they need to file a lot of uh, you know returns and you know, a lot of lot of compliance issues are there while uh, you have to go global and you have to issue shares to a global citizen right so in this case we are converting it into tokens because blockchain is by design global and all right you can just convert this apple company into uh, tokens right on the blockchain anyone will be able to invest in this right there's no regulation involved and all yeah now these people instead of getting shares they are getting tokens in this case okay of course with the uh, cash that they got cash in terms of ether or cash in terms of fiat doesn't matter right cash is cash money is money right so they create the products and services and they get the profit as well okay but one thing you need to keep in mind is that uh, these tokens don't give ownership okay this is not a security token it's a utility token we'll see how this utility token is used right um the ownership is completely is with this these people only right but if that is the case, if these people who invested uh, cash and got tokens do not have ownership, what is the use? What do they do with these tokens? Is that they'll walk into an Apple store tomorrow, right? And they will be able to give these tokens that they got to buy a MacBook, to buy an iPad, to buy an iPhone. They can convert their tokens into products. Can you do it in uh, the previous case? You cannot uh, have, let's say, 10 Apple shares walk into an apple store in uh, let's say europe and uh, say hey, hey have this uh, tokens and give me a macbook right no doesn't work that way right that is where the difference comes and uh, apple as i told before is a product based company right so uh, if you give tokens they can give products and hence these tokens will be utility tokens right the first type which we saw yeah so this is how okay this is how Apple made it more liquid as in it went to the global citizens anyone from the gold uh, globe will be able to invest in this company get tokens secure their ownership also but at the same time tokens can be converted to products right so again they can sell these tokens once Apple gets these tokens they can sell it in the market to multiple other people who wants to buy MacBooks right so this is how tokens um, are used especially utility tokens right so you can understand in this scenario apple has created their own currency right it's not created by uh, the government or anyone right so they created their own currency with the help of blockchain and they uh, created a supply and demand as well right so cash giving tokens and then with tokens you can buy products and all of this creates a beautiful economy within blockchain or within the company called as apple and they created their own private currency using the concept of tokens we'll see more about initial coin offering right um, how the value increases and all of these things right now in the last uh, slide we were able to see this initial coin offering of uh, with an example of a company called as apple how does ipo versus ico work and uh, what is the use of this utility token etc right now we'll take another example to understand more about that in detail okay so imagine there is a lady okay she is a, a entrepreneur and she wants to start a movie theater 
okay movie theater where people can come and watch movies of course we know what the movie theater is right so she wants to build this but she doesn't have money okay to do this so what she is doing is going to the blockchain okay and uh, she is creating this 1 million c tokens c tokens means uh, cinema tokens okay so she creates this cinema tokens okay what she does is she keeps 500k tokens for herself okay and 500k tokens split into two of course and this 500k tokens goes to the public okay so they uh, she wants to raise money from the public by giving them tokens just like in the previous example apple did she wants to uh, give this uh, tokens to the people and raise money so as expected she goes to the general public these people are buying this token as two dollars per token so uh, with 500k tokens if everything is subscribed and everything all the conditions goes well so she'll be able to raise one million dollars so per token is two dollars right so one million dollars she'll be able to raise and in turn these people also got tokens okay now with that money that she got she'll be able to build the movie theater right cinema theater now after the cinema theater is built she'll of course uh, screen some movies and all of these things right so how can these people watch the movie using the token only right which means only people who invested in the company will be able to watch the movie she says only c tokens are allowed uh, only if you have c tokens you'll be able to watch movie in my uh, movie theater right so what happens this c tokens will be able to uh, you know these people will be able to use the c token you know in the theater and they'll be able to watch movie which means again it's a utility token right you get a service for having that token okay now there is a huge movie that's being released like uh, inception avatar any marvel franchise or dc franchise movie something gets released in this theater so there's a huge demand okay these people you know, lakhs and lakhs of uh, people right they want to watch that movie but how can they watch it? They can watch it only if they have C tokens, right? Fiat is not allowed. These are not people who invested in the ICO and all, right? They are just coming to know about this theater itself. So they want this C token. They'll uh, need this C token from these other people who ha already have this, right? Now, will these people sell it at the same price of $2? No, because they know that multiple people you know, huge group of people want this uh, token and they are ready to pay a higher price also right uh, same supply and demand thing that we saw during exchanges right so they will say i'll not give you i'll give you the tokens okay but not at two dollars per token but six dollars per token okay so their investment i mean apart from uh, watching the movie let's say i have 100 c tokens okay one token i'll pay to watch the movie the rest 99 i can sell it off right so I'll sell the token at $6 per token, right? Now these people will be able to go watch the movie in the movie theater again, right? Wonderful. So $2 became $6 now. But if you look at it, while this entire process is going on, from these people, the theater got tokens. From these other people, the theater got tokens again, right? What is the theater going to do with all this? Is that this theater also sells to the public so this theater also will say okay uh, you want tokens to watch movie per token is six dollars or eight dollars or ten dollars depending on the demand and supply right always it keeps on increasing and decreasing so this way the theater creates a very good supply and demand right there is supply and there is demand yeah Demand comes in the form of good movies and things like that. Supply comes in the form of uh, co coins that the trader has. Yeah. So this is the entire concept of how this initial coin offering creates a supply and demand and creates its own economy, right? A private currency, a token, right? That is the concept of ICO. One thing you need to keep in mind here is the 500k tokens. I mean, actually there are total 1 million C tokens, right? And 500k went for ICO. The rest 500k was with this lady who founded this particular concept, right? So when one token is six dollars, and she has 500k tokens already, right? She's a millionaire now. She has three million dollars out of thin air, right? 
that's the concept of initial coin offering and how a founder can become rich you know if the concept is good how they can raise money from the public to uh, idealize this concept and turn it into a business right how these people who are early investors can get uh, you know more returns if the concept is good of course right and how a private currency can be created by any business in the world yeah and uh, creating a token is not very difficult also okay uh, i can create any amount of tokens that i want nobody will stopping me because blockchain is of course uh, transparent and permissionless and everything right i can create 1 million tokens 1 billion tokens anything doesn't matter right i can do that so it's not a very complex process creating tokens and things so uh, this 1 million uh, tokens can be created out of thin air right but does it have value depends on your idea depends on your execution just like a normal business right so same way this ico concept also works hope you uh, loved this session on ico right and you understand the nitty gritties of this ico concept itself and fundraising of course there are other methods one of the methods is called initial coin offering there are other methods which you are going to see in the next slide